Hey guys, I apologize for the cliffhanger ending on the last episode where we got attacked by the Gnosis, but today we will be seeing the conclusion of that, so I hope you all will enjoy. Since this is the first section with some enemy encounters, I plan to show off each type of encounter once and then skip remaining encounters since fight strategies are mostly going to be the same. Also, I apologize for not turning down audio at one point, but it's fine, you all understand. Hope you all enjoy the episode! What's going on down there? Take out the mothership! We can't! We're too close to fire the cannons! There's a breach in the reactor room! Emergency core shutdown! Switch to reserves! Aids losses have exceeded 70%! I'm trying. This is a cruiser, Woglinde, with the 117th Marine Division. We're engaged with the Gnosis. Coordinates KX417Y009Z735. Requesting immediate reinforcements. Repeat, this is the cruiser. Captain, it must be. No question about it. They're after that thing. Where's our first officer? What happened to Cherenkov? What's the status? We've connected the main field generator and this block's sub-reactor. It'll only hold for three minutes, but we can move this ship under power. Bypass connection to the logic drive secured. You can take control from this terminal. That's fine. Good work. Commander, I object. Purging this entire block and executing a gate jump is suicide. You know as well as I do what happens when a human body enters hyperspace unprotected! All that matters is that we get this to the Commander. We'll be at the next column area in a matter of minutes. There's no time. Get in the pod and evacuate with the others. But Commander, the Gnosis are swarming all over the place. We won't stand a chance even if we do evacuate. We should accompany you. Listen. The Gnosis are insignificant. They are nothing compared to what'll happen if it awakes. As soon as you launch the escape pod, inject yourself with eight milligrams of Dig Beta. You'll fall into a temporary near-death state, but that'll keep them from noticing you. Reinforcements from Central Command will arrive in a few hours. You must survive until then, or my death will be for nothing. Commander! Commander. Go now. Those other bastards! An FAE! 
do I do? I gotta stop them. There's gotta be a way. But how? Hey, you. Quit your whining. I'll give it right back. Hey, they're based on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now. Since I returned from Milsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual-stage protection they got and all. Dual-stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro... But of course, they were quite delicious. How could you? That's when I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the Gnosis for us. Just like this. Stop it! What do you think they are? This is a clear violation of- Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. Weapons-grade realians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self-destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. Why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded, but you of all people shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak and they'd be free as birds. And yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol dictates... Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me, bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence!
Son of a bitch! Out of the way! Move! It's all right. This is what we so were going why to not do. Give it to Take them. care. A meaning to their. All right. Do you feel sad or anything? What's this girl doing here? Seen her before? Not safe there. Run. Run away. It's no use. My voice. Oh. Well. I'm going to die. Everyone escape. They're all on the training ship. Now we need to get you out of here. Cosmos? Xion. Uh, yes? We will now proceed to Hangar 1. Huh? There is a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. 
My assigned duties are to verify and preserve the integrity of that object, and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos... Ch chief Well, that was a lot all at once. We can now hurt the Gnosis, and Virgil's here in our party. Cannot use the AGWS right now, that's okay though. For now, we'll just use this. Nice three damage, Heon, you're very useful. I'm nearly certain he doesn't have a tech attack. I can't actually remember, though. He might. 515 health. Uh, I don't remember if ether or physical attacks are more effective on him. Guess we can just check right here to see if Xion's attack here will do any damage at all. Okay, he reacts to ether attacks. So don't use ether attacks. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. And I'll use Shion to heal from here on out. Probably. That means I don't think you have anything else. I'll check, just in case. So I don't want to miss anything. I need to get some boost turns on my good characters if I can, but the Gnosis keeps moving on the boost turn, which is really annoying. <laughs> or the boost turn up slot, anyway. He's gonna do it again, too. That's just so frustrating. Should've healed Xion. Probably that turn. That's okay. No, he can't. He doesn't have anything else. We'll just have to keep using Rush with him. Oh, thank God. She finally gets something good here. This is good. Now we'll have a boost turn with Cosmos. That's good. I'll probably be able to use this boost turn to get another boost turn with her, so that's actually really solid here. Should be able to win pretty easily. Um, Virgil's poisoned or whatever, but that doesn't really matter. We don't care about Virgil, it's fine. It only has 122 health left. We can end this basically very soon. Alright. Let's try this, then. Actually, is Lightning Vest Easter? I probably shouldn't have done that. Should I have? Lightning Vest might be Easter. Never mind, we're good. Um, crap, that's ether. But I think we're done anyway. I think we win. No, he has he has just enough health left, doesn't he? He has like five health left. That's so annoying, man. Okay, everyone lived anyway. Doesn't matter. Five health. Yep. Thank you. All right. End turn. Points times four. That actually ended up working out. We got the point turn. That's actually helpful. Nice points, that helps. Lots of tech points and everything. I pressed the wrong button on that fight. He shouldn't have even been able to do that last attack there. Really, Chief, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack just 
watching you. Here you go, it's the prototype ATWS. Okay, finally we got this. You know how to use it, right? This will make Shion a bit more useful for now. Of course! Of course, I just got a little confused with all that's been going on. Please be more careful, okay? I don't know what I'll do if anything were to happen to you. What? Did you say so? <laughs> Poor Alan, man. Poor Alan. Nothing. Let's go. Let's find an escape pod quickly and let's get out of here. I feel bad. Man, he doesn't deserve this. Now, did I keep... Did I restore my health automatically? No, we did not. I can always buy more of these here packs later. I might as well just get a decent restoration here. Not like she undoes anything besides heal and battle right now. So, we can now fight Gnosis in the overworld, which is awesome. Cosmos, let's go. Well, this thing instant boosted, really? That's not cool. Oh, why do you have the crit turn? I don't think you're going to be able to kill. I'd be very surprised if you'd be able to kill, actually. <laughs> no, you're not going to be able to. That's unfortunate. Nice 28 damage critical. I bet Virgil can finish off that enemy in the middle. So by attending the things in the overworld, I think I already explained this, but you can get bonus effects in combat. Thank you, Virgil. Let's see. Try spell ray. I know you have keys to your damage. I think if you get a crit, you'll be good. Why are you not? This is a crit turn. Why are you not critting? You might still kill, but get him. There we go. There. We I like to see. Let's see. I'm gonna purposely end here so Virgil can finish it off and I get some extra points. Never mind, I do nearly as much damage as I thought he would. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm too dedicated. I'm too. I'm too in. I'm, I'm dedicated to it now. We're gonna just dart. Shion will end it, that's fine. I thought he'd do more damage. Five health left. Why do they keep living with five health? That's really Great. I collected some good data. Alright. Give me those points. They don't get that much early on. Probably not that important, but still nice. Always destroy everything you can destroy in the overworld. You, you'll, you'll probably get some good stuff out of it. It wouldn't have to take the long way around if only the partition was open. Let's open it. Sorry, forgot to change the volume again. My mistake. Were you able to hear me during the battle at all or not? I hate when I do that. Where does this want me to go? I thought I was supposed to go this way. Let's fight these things, why not? Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. My apologies about that. So these are ranged enemies. We can't hit them with anything but this anyway. How much does this do? Okay. Why does it get a boost turn? That's not cool. Okay, these things seem very powerful. Thank you, Mason XC, for subscribing at Tier 1. I do appreciate it so much. Uh, I don't know if I like this.
Do they really get boost turns every time you do that? These enemies seem very dangerous. Alright, okay. We're gonna have to use an escape pack after this, I guess. Yeah, that's really annoying. Fine. That's a really annoying effect. Every time you attack them, they get their freaking boost turn that's AoE. That's unfair. That's fine. Oh, we're not supposed to fight them. Got it. Okay. I'm low on ether on Xion. I've got ether pack. I'll just do that, I guess. We got plenty of those. We, we, get, we get plenty of items, so you'll be fine with certain stuff. Eh, we'll just get him to there for now. The Nightbot message? I haven't thought about Nightbot message yet. Boost plus one, that's what I like to see. That'll help. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Nice one there. Um, how much damage does Ether do to these things? Decent. Well, let's get ready to boost with Cosmos on the crit turn, I guess. I guess you can finish this with spell, right? No, no you can't. Not if that happens. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Should still be able to finish this before anyone moves, though, on their side. Because of boost turns. I will add the merch. I will add the merch. Punch our blade. Boost with Virgil, I guess. Don't block me. There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, get the last one, Shion. You got it. There we go. Boost turns are great. They make combat really fun. I like boost turns. Let's see. Is there any trap around this one? Ah, I guess not. Bro, I'm so bad at walking. I don't even remember. That's what I was supposed to use for that. Got it. I uh, can't avoid that one. Let's just fight it. Med kits are not rare, so I don't care about using them. Damn it! Not now! Will my death be for nothing?
This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod? Or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Yeah, that was something else. Cosmos just straight up shoots through Virgil. Um, Virgil gets a brief fat flashback and utters the name Feb. We don't know what that's about. And he just dies. What a great introduction to this character. We know what Cosmos is about, don't we? We're gonna put Shion on a robot because it'll make this fight a lot easier. And we're going to get rid of the little side things first, if we can, obviously. Why do they keep boosting up? I'm so confused. That's annoying. Don't tell me these are the same things that are like... What I was... That I was fighting earlier to do the acid rain thing. I hope not. That would be really bad if they are. Alright. Hmm. 44 damage. This has not been a good turn order so far. They keep targeting Xion, which is not good. I haven't even gotten to move with her yet at all, which is very not good. At least we'll get a boost turn for Cosmos out of this. And might actually kill here, which would be very, very nice. Is that enough damage to kill? Yes. Good. Awesome. You get rid of this. Almost dead. Not quite. A little bit more health. Ghost mode should probably finish it off. I could have saved a little bit of damage there, but I think it's fine. We'll save Cosmos' boost turn for now. Why did he just get two turns in a row? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, come on, man. Um, okay, no, it's tanky enough, it'll be fine. I guess you get rid of it, Shion. Skill point up. 
Ideally, I'm going to try to kill the Minotaur on a skill point up turn as well. High critic, no, we'll save it for now. Oh, you get to move again right afterwards. That's actually really nice. Get that crit up turn. So we'll have some boost turns with Cosmos to take advantage of in this fight. We'll get at least two. I'm going to try to time those on crit up turns if I can. And then we're going to try to end the fight on a skill point up turn so we get the bonus there. Mmm, we're okay for now, we're okay for now. Then Cosmos already gets it. Oh crap, I didn't charge up the attack. That's not good. Um, we're still alright though. That was a mistake though. Hmm. Gathering strength in order to file gravity pulse next turn. What do I do? Do I need to guard here? I don't want to heal Cosmos, I think. That's the safe thing, is heal Cosmos. And then guard with the AGWS, probably. No, this is a crit turn. I need to attack. I'm sure it'll be fine. Not really any danger of dying here, I don't think. Mm -hmm. We're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Okay, awesome. She gets the crit up turn. Okay, we win. It has like 250 health left. Now, I don't think Cosmos will kill it here. Let me check, just to be safe, though. Actually, she might. I know what to do, I know what to do. And then I can boost Cosmos after this next turn. Wait, I accidentally already used cannon! Never mind, never mind. I thought I pressed X and not circle. My mistake. Okay, we win. We don't get the points, it's fine. They don't drop that much early game anyway. Here's the next cutscene, 50 minutes. That would have been really nice to get at least a little bonus to, to my points here, but that's okay. We can get, we can get the points elsewhere.
Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. All right. Well, I think that's going to cover it for today. We're going to go ahead and save the game like it suggests we do. As my stream self stated, that is going to cover it for this episode. Next time, we'll see what happens now that we have escaped the Wall Glen Day. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.